coming through now? You are coming through. Yeah, Zach, you're this good. New fucking mouse, God damn. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you guys just fine. Are, I'm you, just are, you, through. are you talking to the mouse like Scotty did? No, it's a... Uh, computer. Computer. The new, the new mouse has a forward and back button. But I tried to disable the forward and back function because I used those buttons for my fucking... Plus it was a pain in the oh. ass. I use it for reload and <laughs> melee attack. Well, yeah, I use it for that too, but it, it automatically goes back and forward when I press that. I use mine for back and it's forward. In, it's really annoying. I've honestly never thought about using it for push attack. Huh. Well, it's right there, so it makes it True. Let me, let me see about that. That might not be a bad idea, except I'm used to my control keys. Yeah, I usually unmute and unmute, so I mean... No, no, push the talk is awesome, but... Yeah, I hadn't thought of putting it on the mouse. That's yeah, I mean... That's a terrible idea. Let me see here. I'll have to look in Oh the shit! That way I can it does. Control key and people won't hear me say things that I shouldn't be saying. Holy crap, it works. In the background. Bang, bang. Look at that, it works! I can push a dog. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, in case you haven't noticed yet, uh, looking at the uh, Mystic and the Solarian on your screen with the little sad hearts on them, uh, you guys got a uh, big Scrabble last uh, last week. It was actually last week. Holy crap! Um, so you guys, you got into a big fight with lots of people. Um, you're kind of in some breathing space right now. You think? And, oh, nice. and, uh, I just realized this. I'm retarded. Well, let's not, let's not use the R word, sir. I, I said uh, I'm retarded. I, I just realized that Pranesh is here. Yes, everyone is here. Your, <laughs> your, your lack of view may be backwards. So you guys are currently at a prison? Yeah, can we like look around, and, like search the area? I mean, I'm gonna. You're like not in prison, but you're in a prison. Yeah. Um, you're kind of in the control center for cell block J. Um, let's see. Uh, crap, I forgot his name already. and went off the screen. I just want to look in here uh, for the. Beto, Beto just ran into the prison prisoner cells uh, room. There's, uh, you guys did most of your fighting out of this room last week. Uh, you killed three guards, uh, two Aeon guards, the warden, and another three prison guards. Uh, for a total of, uh, nine people you killed in this prison. Um, and, uh, not a single camera has been destroyed, so there's video. Yeah, I'm just gonna spend my time in here looking for, like, the people who were supposed to bust out of here. While uh, low tech and finish rest, I guess I'll destroy the cameras now that you've mentioned that. Yeah, see, I it's wanted my awesomeness awesome. recorded. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. I kind of want them to know this face. Yeah, yeah they I'm kind of recorded it, but they have actual live footage of us right now when we're planning and doing things. That's the other thing you should be concerned about. They can see what you're doing right now. Okay, so we spray paint the things. That's certainly an option. I mean, we can just smash them and have Dom. Yeah, but you're like almost dead, so I don't want you to break a, break a nail. So, the problem with smashing them is most of them are up in the ceiling and they're hard to get at. Um, oh, I have a jetpack. They, uh, they have. Oh well, with a jetpack that wouldn't be an issue. I. I also have it. No, we got. I got it from loot. Oh, okay. Well, you guys have some options then. Uh, there are cameras. Uh, they are near the ceilings. Um, they can be tamped. Um, somewhere in here, it tells me that they actually have hit points and hardness and stuff. Yeah, man, jetpack. I also got a, a flying speed for this one. Oh shit, yeah. Give me one second while I open the PDF and find out what the uh, what the stuff for these cameras is. 
five bucks says it doesn't list it. <laughs> no, no, I recall seeing it. I may be a little slow on stuff tonight. I've been fighting a, a bomb cyclone. And uh, I did quite a bit of snow and muck shoveling yesterday, and I wasn't used to it. Alright, well, I do have one resolve point left from the level up, so I can get my stamina back. Yeah. Speaking of that, you guys all hit level 5. Did everyone complete their... Um... As far as I know... Yep. Yeah. Uh, I now have one first level spell again. Yay! I'm no longer completely out of spells. Just mostly. Just mostly. mostly. Well, I think we took care of most of the boss stuff, so I think we should be okay. Alright. So your ceilings are 15 feet high. Uh, so the security cameras are placed high up on the walls, and unless I tell you otherwise, they have hardness 8, hit points 8, and a break DC of 20. Can I can we, always try and smash it. Can't we just tape like a paper bag over it or something? Yeah, honestly, it's just as easy to cover them as it is to try and destroy them. Especially if you've got an, a, a climb speed. So out of curiosity, I can't just turn on uh, the trident's brightness and make it to where they can't really see what I'm doing very well, right? Uh, they, they can still see you moving around and they know what's in the different areas, so they can probably get an idea what you're doing. Maybe not exactly, uh, but, uh, you know, since they're probably planning on sending an army down the hallway. Hmm. Okay, my character's out of that idea. Yeah, we should just paper bag it. Yeah, Alright, is everyone that. where they're gonna be for the mo Good, roll initiative. Yeah, you guys got it. Even so you were trying to have yourselves a little break, but, uh... Unfortunately, there's still a guard in this wing, and uh, he's been directed to, you know, die, co die? commit his duty and <laughs> uh, die on the spear if so, if that is what's supposed to happen. Uh, Fedo, you don't know what's going on yet. Uh, now, here's the question: Just more loot. Go ahead. Did I have enough time to disable the cameras in here? Uh, did you take a 10 minute rest or were you disabling the cameras while the others were taking a 10 minute? I did not take a 10 minute rest, which is why I'm still missing stat more points. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get a hit, so I don't need stamina out of points. Yes, you could then have disabled those cameras. Okay, cool. However, this guy comes from the door down this way, and uh, he opens the door and he fires on the closest target, which is. You're the closest one. You're behind that desk, probably partial. Now, he's so much more likely to use a frag grid. Then throw the frag grid. Shut the yeah, frag up. We are kind of clustered, unfortunately. So he tosses a frag grenade right up in this bitch and uh... that's gonna be all three of you guys in the console um... he hits uh... you guys need to make a reflex save um... dc fourteen for half of Take nothing. Cuthbert takes nothing because he has evasion low tech takes only seven ouch Krenish, it's gonna hurt you take a full Actually, low tech takes three, Cranish takes. That sucks, guys. But Guffbrin is basically uninjured, uh, so he's.
I did a really good job at not getting hurt last time. You stood in the back well. <laughs> no, this is, I'm not. Of course, I had to get in my way. I'm not much of a threat. That's what I'm talking about. He is flat-footed, or is he off target? He's taking he fifteen points either way. Gotcha. Kranish, you're up. All right. First, we'll go photon mode. Yeah, someone who actually knows what he's doing. Great. Because last time we had no idea what you were doing. We muddled through. Um, He's going to bull rush. Yeah, the problem is Guthburn's in the way. I can't go right there. You can move there, but you can't You can't do a bull rush because you would have to move through Guthburn Square. Uh, These diagonal corridors are a pain in the I'll just move up there then. And smack him. Part smack away. I, uh, I did it is because you're so hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to save you from getting into combat. These guys have really been putting a hurt on you. I mean, all I am is I beat you in the face. That's all I've got. Yeah. You also have, you also breathe fire and uh, blow up. Yeah, we, and we, we really kind of care about you, man. Oh hell, but that's that, the way to do it if it. you're gonna come out in front though. What is that total? Twenty nine? Yeah, it looks like twenty nine. You knock this guy down to his knees, he's BAM and obviously uh on, on top of it he's staggered. Would you like to pull a crit crit hit card? Yes. Where's the crit cards at? It's uh bottom right side. It's in the deck on the bottom oh, right. See, this is the this is the way. This is why we keep you around, Grenache. Uh, someone so, else is gonna have to pull it. I can't see it. All right, I'll get you one. I'll get you one. The TV uh, is on. In the middle of the screen, there where you should all be able to see it. You're a what? Was a, a yeah. kinetic attack. What do you want to watch, uh, baby? So read here through and through. Uh, you can replace the stagger crit effect with okay. uh, attempt to free sunder combat, sunder combat maneuver against the target at the same attack bonus regardless of range. So you can attempt to sunder his armor or his weapon or something. Or you can just let him be staggered and make it easier to kill you guys. Kill him. I kind of want to start breaking his no, 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 we no. want his stuff, man. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> I have been hurt. I'm happy. We fed you your tail to make you feel better. You weren't they supposed to feed it to me. You're supposed to put it back on later. Oh, they made it in the stew. You, you didn't I listen to the other video? Jeez. Oh, Something was lost in translation. So that's the choice. You can stagger him, or you can attempt to sunder his arm. Huh? Or some other piece of gear. What? Yeah, you might break his helmet open or something. Okay. He sounds like a kid. We'll just go stagger since they want to keep his stuff. All right, we'll just delete this card. All right. Uh, so that's going to take us to low tech. Uh, well, given how things are going, and given how proud of it is in there, uh, I'll just shoot at him. <laughs> He's got some cover, obviously, there's a bunch of people in the way, but uh, give it a shot. Yeah. Have you clicked it and we're just waiting for it to appear or uh, I see what's happening. It's got the pop-ups going that I yeah. forgot about. So, Wick 
cover that probably misses, but whatever. Uh, hunting rifle at 16. Yeah, his armor is gonna. He's his armor will be fine. And staggered. He's flat footed. Staggered's not gonna do anything to his armor. Staggered just prevents him from taking two actions. Um, but flat footed makes his armor class minus two less. The cover makes it minus or plus four more. Uh, so even with the, you know, he's got a plus two. Uh, you wanted to hit him if everything was clear. I tried. Unfortunately, uh, you ensured that you did not hit your companion. Fredo, you're back in the uh, prison cells, and sure enough, uh, you know, the, the three guys you're looking for, plus two others are here. Uh, and uh, just as you're about ready to like release one of them and talk to them, you hear the sounds of combat coming back from the, coming from the hub. What do you do? Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. All right, give me a one d five just to see which one of these five you, you found first. One. All right, that makes it easy. All right, so you look at the canister there, and what you see is a large caterpillar-like creature uh, that has tendrils that resemble leaves of a sundew sticking out all over its back. Um, the creature inside looks What's that, baby? quite tortured. Um, it's probably been here for a long time. Um, what are you going to do? Uh, let him out. Uh, you open the door. He uh, it it uh, grumbles, speaking. You think it says Lanty, uh, and it says, "What? No binders? No, I'm here to get and set you free." Remember, you're still on the Islanti. Uh, no, I'm not. Well, a helmet, but I'm obviously not Islanti. What? Who are you? You. Can't see. My name is Fedo. I'm here to free some people, but you know, I'll free you too. Who's there? Why have you not touched me yet? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna put my hand on him. He can't he can't seem to hear you either. He responds to your touch though, and a tendril creeps out along your arm. What do you let it do? Whatever it wants, because I'm immune to poison and all that other fun stuff. It reaches up. How much of your lips are left? A little bit. I think we've discussed this before. It has some trouble reading your lips via touch, but you, after a moment, you, you guys begin to have a conversation. Going back to the combat. Okay. That's just creepy weird. Uh, uh, this guard is, uh, you know, he fears for his life. But he is also devoted to his cause, um, and he sees that Kranich is also as weak as he is, and uh, he just, you know, basically death blows. He tries to punch you twice with uh, electrified gauntlets, which were pretty much your downfall. Uh, oh, but you managed to avoid his attacks this time. Just because he's rolling. Would you like to run him through? We'll see if it works, but yes. So with a successful trick attack, making him flat-footed, um, but the armor is still strong enough to prevent you from damaging Kranish, can you end him? <laughs> not this time. He's he's Apparently fighting not. with his last bits of strength. Lotet. Oh, let's try shooting him again.
And keep missing. Yep. But uh, we're back to you and your dance with the uh, caterpillar. Uh, remember, I said this guy's large. Um, he eventually... Yeah, I'm like this midget thing. He eventually imparts to you uh, that his he goes by the name Grub. Um, you take it that he has forgotten his real name um, and uh, he has been imprisoned and tortured for so long he just can't remember his name. He is deaf and blind uh, and speaks only halting as Lanty. Um, telepathy would go a long way, uh, but uh, he doesn't have it himself. Um, he is pretty much only able to make out your words by feeling your lips move when you talk. Like, hey, bro, I'm going to bust some of my friends out here. You're welcome to come along if you'd like. Um, he agrees. He informs you that he would be slow. He will be slow, uh, but that he is, I mean, he's large. So his slow is your, is, is some of the rest of the team's regular speed um, based on his size you also figure he could carry a medium creature or two small without issues um, so at least he could be a vehicle okay well we'll get you out of here man I'm sorry what these assholes did to you thank you uh, the uh, guard continues to punch at Kranit seeing him as the uh, weaker target and the one that did the most damage Ooh, I think he might have gotten you there. Does the 19 hit? I don't remember. Yeah, I just even with my, uh, my upgrades, it's 18 and 20. Well, no, 20. Well, it is sonic damage, so it is EAC. So, yeah, they're going to hit you at first. Oh, okay. He's gonna pound you down. A little bit. Owie! But you and Guthrie now have a chance to, uh, you know, finish him. Finish. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, okay, what'd you get? Uh, the target is nauseated. You make him sick. Sick and dead. They catch him past him. He's sick of being alive. Oh, uh, he, he's okay. He doesn't, he doesn't have to worry about he's that. He's a sycophant. <laughs> so as you look down into this hallway, the room you see is kind of looks like it's some kind of cafeteria or something or at least some place where the guards could go to get away um, yeah. it's uh, hard to see what's around the corners but there's definitely some tables and chairs oh that's as well wonder and have a look sure wander on in and have a look other than the guard you just killed not really Looks like that's a door to the north. So what you got in here is a U-shaped table sits around the center of the room, surrounded by a handful of low stools. A number of electric stoves and food storage units stand behind a curved cafeteria-style counter in the eastern half of the room. A set of metal stairs leads up to a catwalk circling the room from which computer consoles and other high-tech equipment can be accessed. Uh, an airlock door leads to the north near a smaller exit to the northwest. Well, that's one way to leave without going through the combat. Looks like they interrupted Chow, man. That's messed up. Alright, Fedo's up here in the prison center looking at the other uh, inmates as they were. Um, you find the Slavara. Um, it's, uh, he is a kind of a crab like creature. His shell is dry and cracked. Um, the life signs? Open the containment, yeah, go ahead. Uh, as you open the containment vessel, um, it seems he's barely able to move. Um, 
It's uh, awful painful when he tries. Medicine? So your life sciences, you know about Slavon. Uh, I suppose. Let's see, Slavara are crab-like uh, creatures. Uh, they are intelligent slimes that use the shells of giant crustaceans as a form of power armor. Um, and uh, they negotiated favorable working terms as productive citizens of the Star Empire, often as masters of applied biotechnology like that found in their armor. Uh, but this slime is just in way too much pain. Uh, with your medical check, you think that, uh, hmm. You think if you had some, uh, water for him to drink and pour over his shell, uh, he might be able to, uh, be in less pain and move a little easier. Look around for, like, a, like a hydro flask around here for somewhere. Oh, we did just find the cafeteria. Oh man, hey, can we... something, man. Like, hey man, we need some water. I'll go get the water. Here's a quick little picture of the Gulf of Five. These are the five creatures imprisoned in this area. Uh, the first one you released is the uh, oh, crab the slug, slug, slug creature yeah. on the right. Uh, okay. Then you've got the smaller, medium-sized crab creature on the left. Uh, the next one you get to is a Vesk. Um, this is uh, Mothkala, one of the other, one of the three prisoners Talmon asked you to rescue. Uh, you can tell that uh, she is quite emaciated. Um, her ribs are visible, and her once colorful scales are dull and falling off. Um, she, however, maintains a spark of defiance, uh, telling you that she will gladly help you escape if she is let free. Um, well, we're gonna help uh, you, man, but uh, you're, you're pretty bad off. Do I need a separate medicine check? Well, you can tell that she is obviously her spirit is stronger than her flesh. Um, as you try and help her out, she's barely able to lift herself, let alone any weapons. Um, you can tell that she's probably exhausted. Um, so if you could reduce or remove that condition, that would be helpful. Um, she tells you she's proficient with uh, melee weapons and small arms, um, but that she is would, would really like to eat. Uh, she she's quite hungry. Well, if you say she's as starved as she is, man, she shouldn't probably eat too much. So I'll just give her just and a little. And you're pretty sure about that. And if you control her food ration. Re portion off the food she gets that would be helpful without making her sick okay take this little piece of food man go easy though okay I'll say it to her in Vesk yes. you're the one to talk about eating stuff I hey. haven't eaten in decades hey here's some here's some uh, here's some tail I got <laughs> we found this tail that's disgusting <laughs> Again, we've got the cafeteria. I'm telling you, man. But it's fresh meat, dude. Uh, the next you find is Seek Chick, the uh, Sheeran that you were asked to rescue. Um, she, however, is missing a foot and two of her vestigial arms. Uh, eager to escape, she has trouble standing on her own. Um, is, she, is she one of the ones we're supposed to bust out of here? Yep. <laughs> hey guys, that we were that we're here for, uh, Tamriel sent us here to get you. So you can thank uh, them. As too. you as you say that, Mothkala says, "Pop time," and uh, the Silvara uh, appears shocked um, and clams up, so to speak. Doesn't say much else after that. Oh, that's awkward. Um, the uh, the the Sheeran you just got out of the prison cells delighted at the news, um, and surprised but delighted. By the last, you look into the chamber and you see this huge lizard beast. Um, Hell yeah! The others say, "I don't know if you really want 
but as you're as they're saying that you're opening the prison containment, I assume. Hell yeah, dude. The creature that comes out is uh, just cr almost crazy. Um, Hell yeah. She, uh, we got ourselves a Hulk. And heads, <laughs> and she, she turns and heads straight for anyone that's wearing Aslanti armor. Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take off your helmet! <laughs> Take off your helmet! <laughs> You, you manage to remove your helmets just in time um, as uh, she notes that none of you, um, I assume that, let's see, where is, except for Guthbrand, isn't it, Aslanti? Uh, but he has sunglasses on. <laughs> she, she does see the guards laying about on the ground, and she notes that Guthbrand's armor is is uh not standard as lanky issue um my armor doesn't appear as well like i don't know if you can understand me but we want you to not hurt us if you want to kill his lanty though that's awesome yes kill as many as lanty as you want if you need a weapon there's plenty of guards left. Only drop once. Yep. Uh, she, uh, or it, whatever, um, moves to do just that. Um, rushes past Lotag, starts trying to make her way out, but uh, is going to find it impossible with the disabled door that uh, Beto left. Well, you know, okay, we got these people. We should probably explore the rest and find some Sedona and see if we can like find yeah. some other supplies. Is there like a I don't know like a first aid kit somewhere around here where we can scavenge for supplies? Well, there's two other room two other sections of this uh cell block that you haven't checked um, if you want, you could check on the uh computers and see if you could find a map. Oh, itty bitty life forms, gotcha. Or we can just explore both worlds for loot. Yes, I'll get provide. Also that you may be on a time basis, but. Low tech, it's been long. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, provide tech support. <laughs> Here, let me I mean, if a couple of people want to go into the south room, or we do the north, get all the encounters going at once. Hell yeah! yeah split the party four ways. We go, we go, we go, we go balls in, man. Yeah, you guys pretty much cleared the the cell block. It's just everybody outside of it right now. Uh, the main focus of this dome is a large mechanism on the eastern wall that can only be a high tech torture device. Ten transparent cylinders, the exteriors crackling with energy, flank the device. A windowed room to the west juts out over the chamber, and a single door exits to the south. Uh, you figured this is where the prison warden must have been before she came to visit with you guys. Um, if you want to give me the perception checks, you can easily find the cameras. Yep, yep. <laughs> Guthbrand, you have issues with them, but uh, low tech locates them exactly where the ones in the others, other area. Right, so More Sophia, baby! To disable those as well. Yep. However, back, the most interesting thing in this around. room Hurry is up, the up female android currently strapped into the torture device. Um, yes, it's your friend Sedona. Um, apparently, Ugh. she is very weakened right now. Um, okay, there's one episode of bedtime, okay? You rush over to check on her. You give me a medical medicine check. Yeah, you guys suck at this stuff. No, that's not terrible for two non-medics. No, that's plenty good enough to, to notice that... Uh, 
She definitely has the exhausted condition. Um, apparently, they have been. You find a syringe. Uh, it's got something in it. You know, they've been in, injecting her. Oh, excuse me, with something. Um, and it looks like you know into her neural connections. Uh, perhaps I, uh, trying to get information out of her. Uh, engineering. Yeah, we're skilled monkeys. We got this. Yeah, it's nanites. Um, obviously, we'll leave it alone. technology against an android instead of biologic. Um, she's she's very weak in the exhausted condition. Hey, Sedona, we're gonna get you out of here. Uh, we freed the other prisoners so far, and uh, we're gonna get you somewhere safe. Yeah, with just a touch on the control panel, it releases the uh, the torture cables. Releases her from the torture. Uh, the red skin android stares blankly, her eyes wildly contracting and dilating as she tries to focus on her surroundings. You fools! She whispers blankly, her verse slurring into tiny echoes as she speaks. She blinks again, her eyes settling into some semblance of stability, and the android puts her head back down to look at the floor. I apologize. That was uncalled for, she Damn says, right. her voice clearer. But to think you would go so far as to come all the way here. Hey, we get to kill some Islanti. This has been fun. By the I way, I'm low tech, and I'm literally mad. They I don't started recognize it. you, but I don't recognize either of you. What? Who are you, people? I'm a friend of Fedo's. Fedo? The goblin. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. He's here? Yeah, he's, um, he's manning the computer. I you know, see. Keeping an eye on things. And we cut scenes to Fed. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what exactly were you doing, Fedo? Um, taking care of crab person, getting ready to move out. Alright, did anyone want to check the other room? Oh, yeah, we, we all want to check the room. Okay, maybe you guys meet in the hub and then you head that direction. So you're quite a bit of a crew now. Uh, you work it out with Grub. He decides to carry... Oh, let's see. Let me look at the goal to five again. He can carry... Well, that's two carry, mediums yeah. and that's, that's gonna make... You carry uh, one medium or two smalls. Things even more issue. Probably the best one to carry is... Seek Chick, because of his missing foot, he is limited to a uh, single action. He has a st staggered condition uh, due have, to her injuries. We have a mobile uh, weapons so platform. Be, yeah, <laughs> mobile weapons platform slug. Um, and, uh, yeah, so you come to check out this last room. Personnel. Blast yeah, there's a guy <laughs> in here, um, but, uh... Is that a door right next to Guth? Uh, hold on, hard for me to see with all these little windows open. Yes, it is. Yeah, next to Fedo is a door that leads to an airlock. Um, oh, with its bright lighting, sterile looking instrument, and white walls, this area is clearly a place of medicine. A metal gurney is in front of some of the cabinets that line the southern half of the room. A large airlock door stands in the northern wall, adjacent to a smaller exit to the northeast. I'm just looking to see if he's going to fight you guys. Um... He actually uh, cowers. Can we blast him anyway? Uh, back away. Absolutely. From you come through. Um, but the, t t t take what you want. Uh, I don't want to die. Uh, I don't much like this job anyway. Uh, and I've seen what you've done to the guards. Where's all your medical supplies? 
they're in the cabinets. He points to them. Um, and as you go and look, you see that the supply cabinets here hold uh, 10 Mark 1 serums of healing, uh, 4 Mark 2 serums of healing, uh, 2 doses of spray flesh, and 12 medicinals. Uh, like tampons? Four, no, like 4 <laughs> medicinals, not... Essential. Oh, <laughs> Essentials. Yes, they are analgesics, <laughs> antitoxins, and sedatives. Four of each. Okay. Well, can, well, can we heal up our people and heal up the, the wounded people? Absolutely. Prioritize with the people who actually can fight still. And then the people who can't fight so good. Yeah, you can also find some water in here to uh, help out crab man. And yeah. someone can go grab food from the cafeteria for... Yeah, just a little bit. Others. Not too much. Just a little bit. Okay, so it's four antitoxin sedatives and antitoxins, or two? There's four of each analgesics, antitoxins, and sedatives. Ten mark one healing serums yep. and, two, and four mark two healing serums. Correct, and two doses of spray flesh. Oh, I got reported. Speaking of that, did we get the, uh, the loot list from last week? I don't believe we did. I didn't make it. No. Yeah, you said you'd send it to us during the week. Yeah, you oh, jeez. Yeah. Jeez, oh, slacker. Uh, I'm a slacker. Let's see, so... Uh, should be pretty standard loot list. Like nine, um, nine of these and... <laughs> <laughs> right, you had, uh, six guards. The six guards each had, uh, let me find one real quick. Uh, the six guards each had ceremonial uh, plate armor, officer plate armor with infrared oh, nice. sensor. That's light armor, isn't it? Um, no, I think it's heavy. Damn it. Um, they each had a standard tap rash and a pulse caster pistol with the battery. So there's six of those things. Got it. Let me find an Aeon Guard real quick. The Aeon Guard had Trooper Battle Dress Armor with uh, clear spindle Aeon Stones and Jump Jets. They had Assault Rifles, the AG Assault Rifles with four magazines each. As well as Thunder Strike, Sorry, the uh, AG, Aslanti Guard, AG, or Aeon Guard, excuse me. Uh, they had Thunder Strike Pulse Gauntlets, so Pulse Gauntlets, Thunder Strike, um, a Frag Grenade 2, and an Incendiary Grenade 1. There would be three of each of those items. Hey, Doc, where does this airlock lead to? Outside, you idiot. No shit. But where? Just the uh, surface? Basically, on your, on your flight in, you notice that the whole prison complex is just a series of domed habitats. Uh, so you figure once you got outside, you could probably make it almost all the way up to the landing pad where you got to with uh, minimal contact from guard personnel. That's exactly um, what I was thinking. <laughs> Obviously, outside, you're going to have to deal with uh, no, there's, there's no atmosphere. Uh, the moon has light gravity, um, and there were some other environmental hazards that I'll list for you. Let me finish up with the gear first. Okay, thought you were done. No, I still got to do the uh, the warden. Okay, real quick, uh, two yep. Angard assault rifles with the ammo, pulse uh, gauntlets, Thunder Strike Pulse Gauntlets and Frag Grenade Mark Twos, and then there was something. Incendiary Grenade One, uh, and one of the Frag Grenades was used, so there's only two. Okay. And they also had that troop armor, the Aeon Guard troop. Roger, I got that. All right, so uh, Miss Elastria however the hell she pronounces her name, doesn't matter, she's dead, was encased in an S-Tex suit 2 
That's light armor. Ooh. Infrared sun. Uh, she had a tactical dueling sword on her hip, a tactical tri laser with a battery. Uh, I showed you guys a picture of that. That should be in the uh, the loot window thing in the journal. Um, and it had a bright yellow Capuchin Aeon Stone. I can throw that in up. So yeah, there's that guy. You can figure out what it does eventually. So, you can just... Okay, so she had the tri-laser with the pistols with a bright red capuchin hand stone. What's the suit she was wearing? S-Tex E-S-T-E-X Suit 2. And it had infrared sensors in it. Okay. I think Feto might be interested. Yeah, but Gothic gets first first dibs because I just I just I literally just upgraded my armor whatever all right so you got the loot from the medic um, you kind of got a plan um, I was checking whether or not you would have enough suits we have lots of armor of man prisoners. well yeah we've got you've got lots of armor you can throw people into except um, for the large guy yeah the 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 worm, or the the big lizard, which has kind of found its way back to you, since there's no guards to kill. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm an engineer. Damn it. Unfortunately, I don't have the um, spell. That can we dis you, um, Can we disable the cameras in here? Need to breathe. You haven't, but you can. Yes, we need to do that immediately. Alright, in the airlock you find six S-Tech suits, one in a small closet. So, I mean, if you don't want to use the Aslanti armor, there's regular armor. Uh, basically, everyone can be outfitted except for possibly the grub. Uh, you might be able to make some kind of uh, suit for him, Fetto. Yeah, I'll put something good. N nothing that will stand up to getting shot, but, you know, let him breathe. It it'll give him air till you get to your thing. I don't see the uh, tactical man as a race. It's called a tri laser. Isn't it in the module? Do you see it now? I just clicked show to players. I'm, you might not have been here, so it may not have registered. No, no, no. I mean, I don't see it in the. Uh, uh, isn't in it? Isn't it in the list. module? It's a special weapon, I think. It's a special weapon. I put it in, in the uh, journal under loot. There's a special entry for the tri laser that described. Uh, it doesn't tell us what it damages. It doesn't tell you what it does, yeah, but let's see. Because um, that may be a very good upgrade for Fettel. Uh, and you said there was um, ceremonial plate armor? Uh, that yes. Yeah. Oh, armor. Because that's better than even the Aslanti yeah, I'm gonna look armor up. Yeah, it's, it's ceremonial officer plate, and it's equipped with infrared sensors if you need those, um, and you have six sets of that. Awesome. In that case, I'm grabbing one. Yeah, go for it, bud. No worries. You look like a prison guard, sort of. So, uh, let's see. Book Her weapon. two. She was doing uh, D6 d fire damage with small arm. Plus bonuses. The trick is it can take Aeon Stones. Oh, that's cute. You can, uh, you can utilize that if you would like. Uh, okay. It's a tactical tri laser? It's a tactical one, right? Yes. Well, fuck yeah. I mean, it's like way better than my little freaking pea shooter. What page did you look put that on? Is it an entry on her page? Uh, it's on page 45. 
Turns out page 44 and 45 were having a little fun and they were stuck together. Oh, what have you been doing here, books, bro? Absolutely nothing. They barely have the spine even broken. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> just on the. You just read the articles, huh? <laughs> no, I just use the PDFs. Yeah, me too. That's why I had it open. I just upgraded my Google Drive to like 100 gigs, so I have extra space on there now. Yeah, I barely use mine, so. Well, I use it for everything, so I've been pushing this limit, so I'm like, yeah, hey, you know what? Like a buck a freaking month or something, so two bucks a month. Yeah, the school uses one drive, so I'll probably I'll get a free one drive from them yeah. if I get hired. I could use my work one that's unlimited, but man, I just don't like trust them. Don't trust the work. No, because like, they can they can just access my shit at will. Yeah, and then basically delete stuff that shouldn't be there. Exactly. And Feta, you can have the uh, the S10 on your chip. Was that better than? Uh, uh, it's four, five, five. Uh, three upgrades and one minus one armor chip penalty. Yeah, I'll just keep my armor. Because I have like a five dex, man, and I'm capped at four right now inside my armor. Well, this has a max dex of five. Yeah, my armor check penalty, though. I don't know, I'll think about it, but for now, I'll keep my uh, hide armor. I don't blame you. It's the same reason I didn't. Uh, I'm not using it. But the gun, definitely. It's definitely a uh, an upgrade over the freaking static thingy. Alright, so it sounds like you guys want to pile through the airlock and take everyone outside. Yeah, I mean, if, if the little lizard, uh, not the lizard, but the, the caterpillar guy doesn't have a family or anywhere to go, he's more than welcome to hang out with us brigands. Yeah, they'll, they'll pretty much all go with you. Um, they have their own reasons for leaving and whatnot. But uh, yeah, you yeah, figure torture. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No one wants to stay here. Come join the pirate life, people. All right, so let's see here. That seems to be your closest route out. I'm going to take my helmet off and really take in the atmosphere. Take a quick breath of the atmosphere. Yeah. Stepping outside, you notice these, uh, this huge... Uh, uh, seems to be an adamantine alloy hybrid generator uh, that's used to power this wing of the, uh, the area. You also notice... Uh, are Guthburn and Krennish outside yet? Let's grenade it. You got us all go, go out together? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll probably win. Because uh, you're going to need to roll in it. Because there happens to be two zombies out here trying what? to wreck the generators. But they're going to turn and attack you when you... Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, continue. No, no, then we'll kill you after that. <laughs> it's like, no, wreck the generator first. Else, but... I figure everyone give me a perception check also as you come out. Alright, Fedo and Guthbrand, or Fedo, you notice the, uh, the camera over here, uh, staring at everybody. So does Kranish as he comes out. Oh yeah, we need to destroy that immediately. So that's that's gonna be. I see that. Uh, how about we just move him there for you? Thank you. You're welcome. I remember we said we were going to kill him, but I don't know if they actually did. Kill so. yeah, who? The oh, the tower. doctor. I'm okay with it. He's he's a scumbag, Eslanti, Doctor Mengele. Do you kill the, the doc? Dude, he's, he's... Yeah, I'm, I'm all for killing him. He's, he's like a scumbag Nazi doctor. 
Alright, so you kill him so he can't let anyone know where you're. Well, no, mostly because he's a piece of shit, but. I mean, that works too. Yeah, definitely. He's like a, like a not like a like a prison camp, you know, guard for like the Nazis. And he's torturing yeah. people. So, and Guthbrand, you're up. Oh, wait. Crap! I didn't know you were gonna go that far. What's the gravity conditions out here? Oh, it's light gravity, so... We can move uh, super fast then, right? Well, you can't move fast. Because it's difficult moving in light gravity. You're not really used to it. But you can jump further and higher and... Strength DCs are... I, I still move really fast. I'm still fine pretty fast. Oh, yeah, your, your movement is not... Uh, it's not hampered, uh, but it's not it's not uh, uh, increased. Either. Enhanced. Enhanced. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Uh, let's see. So a trick attack of thirty is going to beat these guys. They definitely are not CR ten, um, and eighteen is enough to hit them with a pistol. Uh, so that's going to do eighteen points of damage to this whichever one you wanted flat footed. And he has the flat feet. Beto, you're up. I want to go ahead and move it to disable the camera. Sure, you got the jetpack, you can get there. It costs you nothing extra to fly up in this case, so you're you're at the camera in a move. Um, you can attempt to attack it or disable it in some other means. Uh, would like uh engineering. Uh, it says. Let's see. Yeah, you can say you want to do engineering. They say it takes 2d4 rounds to disable one with an engineering check. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tape a paper bag over it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you managed to put a paper bag over it and it is successfully uh, warded. I don't know why they say it takes... I mean, I guess they figure if you're cracking it open and disconnecting wires and... I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Paper bag it. I mean, if it's in order to disable it without guards noticing it, maybe I don't know. Some like Mission Impossible shit where we sync up to like the the recording video or something. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, you can do that with the computers and stuff. It gives you more time yeah. before they notice something has happened. I'm just gonna put a paper uh, bag over it. <laughs> a zombie moves to where it was to to that which attacked. Hey, uh, Guthburn, it tries to slam into you, uh, but uh, your armor just takes the hit. You notice that it has a uh, integrated static arc pistol if it wanted to use that. Lotec, you're up. I mentioned that fact to everyone else. Okay. They're well, armed! I... Of course they're armed! We can see they're armed! I will step up and hit at this one. Certainly. The, the one you're flanking? Yep. Gotcha. Well, that'll yeah, do. that's much better than shooting at things. Good damage. That one's almost dead. Again. I know they're killing it. <laughs> Grant is your. All right, photon. And we'll move up 
to I really can't get to the other one on the other side of Little Tech, so I'll just move up to the one prep. Well, that's enough to clobber it. That one is the dead. However, its buddy shoots at low tech. I think it gets you, at least for the first one. Yep. And yeah, the second um, one. Yeah, Ouch. Get both. Ow. Yep, 13 points of electricity damage. Deathbrand, you're up. It's non lethal, though, isn't it? It's a return fire. No, it's static arc pistol. It's actually lethal. It's not set for stun. And I think these critters. Nope, they're CR3, so you don't trick attack it, but you still hit it. You just only do three damage. Beto, you done playing with that camera? Yeah, sure. I'm just going to fly around up high a little bit and uh, trick attack this one. Go. Oh shit, I didn't put the trick attack thing in there. That's just still adjusting my macro here. Um, it's fine, you missed anyway. Yeah. Go ahead, low tech. Yep, I will step up and swing. Extract vengeance. How no. dare you hit me! I will retaliate by missing. Greenish. Alright. Uh, that one's dead, so I'll move around to the other one. They're all dead. Uh, they're all dead. Like well, un undead. undead. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna make it un un undead. We like to say re dead. Permanent. Okay. Nope. But you are at two attune. The zombie uh, attempts to slam low tech. Doesn't have to move, so ouch! Uh, you are I'm protected from the second right attack. Well, I tried to kill Granish last week, so <laughs> that's uh, 21 bludgeoning damage. Ouch. I gotta make it challenging, or you guys wouldn't have any fun, right? <laughs> well, we definitely healed, we, we healed you up and stuff, so. Yeah, I was at um, full stamina and mostly full hit points, so yeah, I'm okay. That's a good trick attack. Uh, not so good of a Fortunately, roll. not so good of an attack. Beto, go ahead. I'm going to trick attack this sucker. What the hell? Did you copy paste it? I did, oops. Let me see if I can just thing working? Oh, here we go. Okay, now it works. Ha! <laughs> That's the exact same role you had the last time. Yeah, I just pushed I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> gotcha. 25 is good. 19 is good. 5 is not so much damage, though. Well, it's flat-footed, though. Is that the right... Oh, yeah, you're, uh, you're only 4th level. 
operative, right? Yes, sir. But that does mean it's flat-footed. You're correct. Low tech. Its defenses are less. I will attempt to full attack it this time. Yes. So maybe. Yeah, that first one's going to be good enough. The second one is almost there, um, but not quite. He's flat-footed. Yeah, that's why it's almost there. Fair enough. Granish, 16 was actually uh, two better, and 13 just missed. I like this whole jetpack thing. Yeah. yeah. I just gave my society character one. Should be interesting to see how what how much I use it tomorrow. As I try not to die in the meat grinder. Ah. Oh, that's good. That's two hits for 28 points of damage. That's destruction. Oh man, you're mean to it. What? It was a mindless undead. It's not like you. You hit it, and it starts to get back up, and so you hit it again, and it stays down. Yeah. Now we need to hurry up and get to the other side where our ship is before they figure out what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> so you guys help everyone through the airlock, and uh, you start moving across the... Uh, across the moon, uh, careful f looking for cameras, avoiding uh, detection as much as possible. Or moon um, rakering. Um, can we, you know, take this reactor with us? Or at least unplug yes, it? Yes, we should blow it up. No, it. no, it's, it's... Well, you could set up some grenades, to rig some grenades to create a, a major distraction, um, and that might clear some of the way for you. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah. You've got a yes. You've got a couple of frags and a three a trio of incendiaries. You could rig those up with a detonator and then uh, take off. And then when you get about halfway to your ship, you could blow it and uh, redirect some some traffic over that. Yes. We actually have plan. five incendiary grenades uh, and. Three more two fry grenades and two more. Grenades. So yes, it's a good idea to blow things up. Blowing things up on the way out's not a bad idea. Blowing things up on the way in is not a good idea. We just do both. That depends on who you ask and what your mission is. We're getting everybody out in one piece mostly. As best as we can. We're on the main page now. Yeah, I moved you guys to the main page. There's, you're not going to have any more combat getting to your ship, so. Oh man, I mean, slow tax going to live. <laughs> yeah, low tax going to live. So's so's Greenwich. Um, yeah, I was, I was looking fail. forward to coming back as undead. Isn't there like some kind of cool like helmet or something you can get telepathy with or some shit? So if we can talk to like the caterpillar dude. Uh, you're a Technomancer, why don't you have to look? Because I'm only level 1 Technomancer so I can heal myself. Mm. Well, I, I mean, I can to... mind link so I can just transfer information to it. As per, you know, 10 minutes of conversation or something. I just could have swore there's like a helmet or something in one of the armory books or something. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can, um, get them. There's a telepathy hybrid item. Yeah, see, I'm not totally Yeah, crazy. you're the Technoman, so you can make it. Yeah, true. Oh, do we have space combat to do now? 
You've got to get off the planet. Yes. <sighs> yes. Man. So the one uh, thing my character absolutely cannot do. God. That's man. fine. We'll make it fun anyway. Such a buzzkill, man. Me and Fed will figure out something. I'll just yell over the comms. Your mother was a hamster. Yeah, you can be captain. And your father smelt of uh, elderberries. Fed, you have to face walk me through it. I've never done this before. Do what? Space combat. It's been like freaking like several months since I've done it. You're still the most experienced one here. <sighs> That's not a problem. It'll be easy. We all die. <laughs> I couldn't. I can't think of anything easy. I'm trying to find where this damn item is. Ooh, level I think one. it's in the core rule book, isn't it? I don't know. I'm looking at armory here, so let's, look, let's open up the core book here. Which which item? I'm trying to remember. It's just some kind of magic or uh, item or something like either that or hybrid. If it's hybrid. If it's an armor with a magical property, it's probably a hybrid. Oh, the mind link, mind link circlet. That's magic. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's in the hybrid section. Oh, okay. You know, Mark One, you can communicate telepathically with any creatures within 30 feet, which you share language. Functions like the Sharon's limited telepathic treat thing. So that might be good for him, you know, for. For lizard, uh, for Kruver, caterpillar man. I mean, you still need to share the language, but. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming he's a man. I mean, I don't want to assume it's gender. I'm just taking a few minutes to make sure I get this set up. Well, that's cool. I'm pretty sure we can take a break if you'd like, you know, get ready. Yeah, if you guys want to take uh, five, ten minutes, get something to drink, uh, whatever, I'll be ready. And
I am here and ready when you guys are. Yeah, I'm here too. So, uh, the big lizard crazy beast lady, uh, once you guys got back inside the complex, she tore off and started killing Aslanti. Um, Hell yeah. The rest of the prisoners decided to come with you. Um, obviously, Sedona's your buddy. Uh, Grub is not one of the ones that uh, uh, Talmarin was looking to res have rescued. The other three are. So, you have five... Uh, passengers aboard your ship um, you easily lift off there's no uh, there's no iris or anything that closes off the uh, the landing pad that you are at it's too big for that um, so you take off and they're all uh, people are just busy fighting fires and explosions Hell and yeah. so you guys make it off planet pretty easily uh, but as you are leaving um, there is a bit of something in your way You are there, and you are confronted by this bumblebee-looking thing. And do you guys know which roles you're going to be taking? I believe Fetto's piloting. I got a 14 piloting, 13 engineering, and computers. And I think that's it, right? I got a 15, I got, I got a 15 in piloting, a 13 in, in computers, and a 15 in engineering. I am moderately bad at everything. I think I'm best at gunning. There you go. So both of them will be on guns, and me and the federal will move around and all the other stuff. Sure. Whoever's piloting, uh, or whoever's engineering, if you want to engineer this round. Uh... Uh, I'll science this round. I'm pretty much just going to roll a d20 on every phase just to confuse you guys. Yes, I want to science this round. Okay. I want to detect their stuff. Let me pull up the rolls again, because I don't freaking remember. I don't remember jack shit about these rolls, so... I got it all right. Yeah, I know. I just, I'm lazy. Uh, you may want to pull up your your ship's bonuses. I don't know if you remember what what you have. Uh, I don't like these starship sheets at all. I I don't think. It's a Mark II duonode computer thing. Mark II duonode, which means you have a plus two to any two checks uh, during the course of a round. I want to scan them. Must have tapped yes. a computer check. So, uh, but you can use the sensors bonus. Do you have uh, ba budget basic or advanced sensors? Budget short range sensors. Ooh, budget gives you a zero bonus on sensors. Short range means you need. Uh, it's going to be minus two for every five away from you. They are. I gotta put my daughter to bed. Uh, let me roll. Let me roll. No, it's cool. I'll roll. Give me a computer's check and I'll add the bonuses and stuff. When? Hold on. Be right back. Twenty-three minus nine is twelve. So Fedo exceeded the check 
by 12, which gets him a couple of different things. All right, so that's what uh, Fedo Scan returned. Okay, um, I know very little about this, so I guess I'll just fly us closer. Well, the next thing we're going to do is make piloting checks for initiative. Um, what you know, what you know from here is their armor class is fourteen. Uh, and target lock is 13. It means they're easier to hit with uh, with the non-direct fire attacks, which I don't know if you guys have an Aeon Torpedo or not. I think you might. We do, we do have Aeon Torpedoes. Uh, so torpedoes are going to work better against them. Um, you know that they have some shields, uh, primarily on their port and starboard. Their forward is not heavily shielded. Probably because they have some big weapons on the forward, but you're not sure. Um, you know that they have a uh, 130 PCU core, so they could probably have some weapons. They're a medium transport like you. Uh, you know how fast they move and that they require two squares to turn as well, or two hexes to turn as well. Um, let's see, with a 29, you are going to win the piloting check initiative so they will have to fly first they fly six hexes straight at you um, and they're going to uh, they they look like they're flying in an e evasive uh, maneuver I think their pilot scored enough for that. Yep. I'm assuming the AI torpedoes are better closer, or are they better for it? It doesn't matter. Um, they're going to do the same amount of damage either way. Um, if you fire them further than their range, you make a separate attack check for them on the next round as they get closer, as they reach the target. I'm right. back, I'm back. Okay, so should I be getting us closer or farther away? Yes. Well, technically, um, you guys are just trying to escape. Um, how wait, how fast the are they? Speed, uh, I put his stuff in the chat. There's six. So uh. You may just want to try and outrun them. I don't know, know where our speed is, dude. Ours is eight. Oh, yeah. Let's we'll just fucking escape. Which direction? Anyway. Whichever, whichever way the little GM lets us run. If you place 30 hexes between you and them, you outrun them. We'll just go past them. Since they take two turns to turn around, it'll make us get farther away. We, we have torpedoes and stuff we can shoot at them too, so I mean. Well, all our weapons seem to be on the turret, so. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's. Everything's on the turret, so you don't have to face any direction. That's why I did that. You're welcome. Well, you are clearly in their rear arc now, um. And, uh. Well, they're going to fire upon you because uh, the status down below is, is pretty high. Uh, so anything leaving without proper clearance is just a target. We're the shuttle Tiderian. We're carrying personnel and replacement parts. All right, what is your armor class right now? Uh, I think I beat it twice. It's a Paladin plus two... 
So. So six to who's our pilot? Who's it, Gus? Right? How many piloting ranks do you have? What five? Yeah. So five so plus. Four, four, four. You only have four. So what was your total armor class? NTL? Is it 10 plus 2, so plus 4, so 16? I think. Oh, you should be able to set the pilot. Uh, let me see. Updating. Uh, I don't think I've looked at his sheet. Yeah, it's 16. Right. Looks like 16 is your total there. Unless you decided to do evasive maneuvers or, you know, uh, evade stunt. Yeah. Yes, roll your piloting check, Guth. If you're flying straight, you almost always want to do an evade action. Look at because that. Because that increases your armor class by two. He uh, evaded. So now you're at 18 and it doesn't matter. Uh, you get hit by a light particle beam and a light Eon torpedo. Uh, oh, we so have a flak take, thrower. Uh, oh, well, you can use your flak thrower um, against the Eon torpedo. Okay. I think they have a speed of 12? Maybe 14 for light. I'll have to check. I don't even know how that shit works. I just know we have a flak thrower. Well, one of the gunners bet should fire it then. Um, I'm not great, but I'm not totally appalling. Um, well, the, the flak thrower takes a bonus from the flak thrower. Uh, they have a speed of 12, so you're going to have to hit a... Uh, something plus. So what are you rolling for gunnery? It's just your dex plus your bab, I think. Or your piloting. Uh, it's either your ranks in piloting plus your decks, or your bat plus your decks. And we can get a plus two from the computer. And for reference, I have no decks, so you're probably better. Well, I'm f I'm I'm science this so round. Your flag thrower is a point plus eight weapon. So point weapons uh, make a gunnery check um, and use the. Uh, special entry instead of your usual bonus for gunnery checks. So someone makes a gunnery check with plus 8, so roll a d20 plus 8, and the DC is 10 plus the tracking weapon speed. So you're looking for a 22. Can we use the plus 2 on the uh, for the computer? Sure. So that's you, that's you, uh, gunner guy. Plus 10. Oh, I, I thought we had two gunners, but fine, I'll roll something. It's you, it's, it's low tech and crash that they're doing, guy. I'm a captain. I'm the captain now. Hey, look at that! Apparently I roll well. Kaboom! Hey. hey, that's good, you destroy the torpedo before it gets to you, you only take 3d6 damage. That's 14 damage to your... Port side. Hey, it's cool. I don't think that beats your shield. No, it doesn't. Uh, no, it's 17. So what does that mean? It means we lose 12 whatever shields. Could you subtract that number off the sheet? Yep, just uh, change it from 17 to 14. Engineering's when I gotta like fix that, change right? Change it from 17 by 14, so it'll be down to 3. Okay, I changed Engineers can divert power to shields to gain 5% of PCU to shields, or the uh, science officer can uh, balance shields, moving shield points from any shield quadrant to another shield quadrant, or taking all of the shield points and dividing it equally among Well, I'll or just... Or the engineer could increase our base speed by two, I think, from memory. Yes, by diverting power to the engines. Uh, we can get seven shields back. Uh, 
Uh, oh. You guys have a uh, gunnery oh, phase to do yet. Feel free to shoot at the oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, they get to shoot the torpedo and the plasma cannon. I think Low Tech already shot, though. No, no, no the, no, the, the, the flak thrower doesn't count. Oh, shit, yeah. It doesn't count as your gunnery phase, it's just a defensive maneuver. Nice. So, I guess I'll try firing a missile at them. Well, it's a torpedo, but... Well, whatever. And miss horribly. Yes. Alright, what about the light plasma? I don't know where Scott is. Is he here? Scott, are you awake? Oh, I'm here. I haven't heard anything for me to do yet. Are you one of our gunners? No, I'm the captain. Oh, well, the captain can work in basically any phase. Um, the captain can encourage uh, another crew member to do better in their position by either making a diplomacy check or making the same check that the other crew member would make, um, in a sense aid aiding that crew member. You can taunt the other vessel uh, by making a bluff or intimidate check, uh, which will penalize their crew members in a specific phase for D4 rounds. Um, or you can demand from one of your crew members by making an intimidate check and they will get a plus four to their action, to that next action they perform. Okay. I want to intimidate the other ship. Alright, uh, which phase do you want to do that in? Do you want to intimidate their gunners, their pilot, or their engineers? Anyway, we're in engineering phase now. I need well, to wait to the actual phase for them. Not really. Right. Okay. Uh. If you send. Okay, I need to. What's our starship tier? Is th th three. So. He is three or four? That's three. Okay, so that's a plus four to your DC. Uh, okay. So two times your starship's tier. So six. So 16. Is our engineering DC, huh? For what? Engineer, I'm gonna. Are you boom. looking in the book? Yeah, I'm looking in the book. Then the books are all wrong. Well, fuck, dude. What am I supposed to do? Uh, that's what the FAQ is for. Uh, are you diverting to shields? No, I'm going to go ahead and boost our speed by two. Okay, it's ten plus uh, one and a half times tier, so it's only thirteen. Or okay, fourteen. Can I take ten then? Because I mean. I don't know. I mean, it seems kind uh, of. We're in combat, so. No. Can I take? Can I take five? <laughs> no. You okay. can take one if that's enough. It is enough, but. I mean, it won't be an auto fail. It's not an auto fail if you roll a one. So basically, if one plus your ranks meets the check, it's auto success. Well, there you go. All right, boosted our speed by two. All right, speed is ten. Uh, pilots roll. I'm gonna roll for their engineering. Let me see how many engineers they have. Ooh, they have two. It's a, um, it's a battleship. It's a destroyer, isn't it? It's a transport, but they have a crew complement of. Uh, what's their crew complement here? It says it's somewhere. Uh, eight. So they have a few extra. Their engineers uh, do some stuff. And it's piloting. You're up, Gus. Yep. Can I intimidate their pilot? Yes. Absolutely. Please do. You don't know the left from the right. You mean Porter from Starboard? I cut off I my tail. I cut off my tail for this. All right, that's your intimidate check. Is a six. Just so you know, for this you needed a fifteen plus one and a half times the enemy's tier. Um, you did not succeed. 
you said left and right. The, they know port and starboard. It, you confused them, but not enough to make a difference. However, uh, they only got a... They rolled a 13 plus bonuses is less than Guth's, so they're going to have to go first. So in a way, it worked. Yes. It kind of worked, sort of. Good, sure. Good job, Captain. Sorry, that's just taking the win. Good job, Captain. So they're going to kind of make a circle here, um, and... They do it evasively, and you're up, guys. Uh, we're just going to keep on ass in a straight line, basically we're five off the map. You're moving that way? You you kinda gotta face that way to move that way? Yeah. That's the way we can go on the whole time. Oops. Okay, then we'll make that the facing of your ship. And roll the you wanna do an evasive maneuver too, right? Yeah, I rolled a pilot ship. So we're evasive. No problem. Did you roll? Did you go two extra speed? There we two, go. Two, not four. Is that the? Is that a total from what you? We had uh, we did five, but we were moving five more. So. Okay, so you moved a total. Of You're working. On yeah. Oh, well, can they even reach us? With their guns? 17 hexes? They have a torpedo, which is long range. Yeah, but we can shoot it. <laughs> well, yes, you can keep trying to shoot it. They have missiles, too. I mean, their gunners are about to go all out because you guys are trying to escape, so. And, yeah, their gunners are going to go out. The first one uh, goes ahead and fires at He's got a heavy laser cannon and a high explosive missile launcher. Oh, that one's gonna be nasty. Shoot it out of the air, low tech. Guess I try. He's got this ship. Do the same thing you did last time. Mm, probably not, but I don't know what the DC is offhand. Actually, it was 20 something, uh, so yeah. No. Than that. Uh, the heavy, uh, what, what did I say? It was a high explosive missile launcher. It's a DC 22 again. So, no, the flag thrower does not uh, protect you from the missile. What's the speed on that weapon? 12 as well. So, it hasn't quite hit us yet. Speed is 12, range is long. Oh, okay. I thought it just went like... But yeah, no, if its speed is 12, then it travels 12 squares. That's what I thought. Us. That's what I thought. And then next round it travels right, another yeah. 12 squares towards us. I've never actually had to deal with that, actually. Because <laughs> nobody no, else... No, because every, everyone generally prefers close combat. Yeah, no, we're trying to avoid combat. <laughs> we're in a freaking flying container ship. I'm assuming it'll be right there. We yeah, will. I'm going to throw, throw a target. I'm going to throw a dumb. Yeah, we most uh, certainly will four. get another shot at that one. So there's the missile. And then their other gunner is going to fire at will with the turret. Direct fire is critical. Ow. That's fine. 
and their Aeon Torpedo launches out. So if they miss on the first one, do they miss-miss, or does it just launch? I thought it was just miss-miss. Like it doesn't track or something. It just doesn't It doesn't get into tracking, and it just goes off or something? Yeah. I don't know. I, so. <laughs> I don't play enough uh, combat. I mean, my last combat in Starfinder was whenever we last did combat in this game. <laughs> yeah, me too. I tend to avoid the scenarios with combat. I just haven't been playing much Starfinder lately. I need to... All yeah, right. yeah, yeah, ditto. Here we go. It says, uh, each subsequent... Okay, a tracking weapons projectile has a listed speed. Once fired, it moves that number of hexes towards its target. Each subsequent round during the gunnery phase... It must succeed at a gunnery check against the target's TL to continue to move its speed towards the target. On a failure, the projectile is lost. Okay, cool. So, uh, 17 isn't going to hit you guys. No. Alright, so then let's do the 3D6 from the light particle beam that did hit you. Uh, 11 points in the aft. I do not think that penetrates your shields, so no, no. critical damage. No, sir, it does not. Do you wish to return fire? Uh, as well, at least fire a missile at them. Yeah. Use a plus two for the computer. Point. What kind of missiles Shoot are you firing? It's the Aeon torpedo. torpedo. Is it the? It's the the little light Aeon torpedo. Yeah. Okay, so it's the same speed twelve as the. Yeah, but they're chasing us. So it's, it's like it's like the Wrath of Khan. Aft torpedoes fire. <laughs> Hey! That's a much better number. Yeah, that's good. It was uh, diplomacy to give him bonuses, right? Uh, well, you can only do one action per round. I thought we were in another round now. No, no, it's a different phase. No, we're just finishing the last phase of the second <laughs> round. Doesn't matter. I rolled a 19. It's yeah. Nah, he, he's good. You guys' missiles head in the right way. So we're like copy and pasting Space missiles. It takes so much longer. I don't. I can't keep track of which well, phase. Honestly, is. it's really quick if you do it a lot. Yeah, if you're nice and experienced, know exactly what you can do and how to do it. But I actually yeah, I'm yet to meet anyone that actually enjoys space combat. I've heard of people, but I'm yet to meet anyone. Well, uh, like the Star Wars uh, revised or whatever. Yeah, D Couple. Of, uh, yeah, D six is games. awesome. No, no, no. It was not D six. Oh well, f that then. F D six is awesome. All right, so uh, we're on to the next round. Round three, engineering phase. I am going to boost our speed again. All right, done. And I'm uh, going to engineer. Oh, look at that. I super engineered it. And their other engineer does some stuff. And you guys move away from them. All right, piloting. Take a plus two. Never mind. Don't need it. <laughs> and evade. Yeah. All right, so they move first. Um... They're going to fly right past your missile. Okay, doesn't it just follow that then? Yeah, I think if they... I still need to re-roll. You have to roll its target lock, its attack again, but if it... If it do succeed, it's actually going to hit him, so... Right in the ass. <laughs> Presumably, we just move another 10 squares straight forward. Yeah. And yeah. we are three off the map. Three more, you need three. Yeah. Three more would be right there. Oh, okay, okay. All right.
right. So I think it's going to take a while, but I think we get the idea that you guys are just going to keep running from them. You're going to shoot missiles until all your missiles are out. I don't um, think we're going to lose this one. Yeah, I think you guys are good. Do you guys want to play this out? No. God, no. No, no we're good. Okay, but you get the idea. Your, their missiles are chasing you. Your missiles are hitting them. Um, eventually, you escape. Where do you want to go? Uh. Well, we need to go back to the station yes. that we rescued. Since we rescued these people for um. Temril. Or whatever. It was. Oh, right. So you have to be out with no further encounters. Um, it takes you. Uh, uh, between, you know, you could drift travel it, or you could uh, do it on conventional thrusters. Uh, conventional thrusters take about two days longer than drift. Unless you roll badly, presumably. Mm. Well, it's a D6 days of drift travel, or a D6 plus two days of uh, conventional thrusters. Yeah, let's just do the drift, why not? Uh, let's kill the, let's kill yeah, the plot. Well yeah, kill the universe, who cares? Yeah, no one cares about the the different. No, 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 no. I care. I want to kill the universe. So, <laughs> so, 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 which of the three people are the ones that you know go with uh, go to? Everyone the but the grub. The crab, the vesk, and the sheeran. Grub, the large worm that's blind and deaf, uh, is the only one who isn't part of it, and he probably just finds a place on on Zed to live. No, nah, man. Hey, what's that? We, we, we guys, we think about getting this guy a job. You want me to play a blind yeah. one in the next game? No, yeah, I, you're joining the. Yeah, the I mean, crew. he he just joined the crew. You know, we can always you, use somebody to. Better than any one else that we've currently got on the guns. I mean, we can always use somebody just to guard ship, man. He, he's useless in combat. He can't see or hear. No, but he can guard the ship over. Yeah, he's a better gunner than. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a good guy, man. He's straight up. He's a cool dude. He's a freaking giant centipede looking thing. He's he's a grub. How awesome is that? We we can keep him on the ship and just keep him. All right, you guys have a couple of days of drift travel. Um, you can all heal up because you're going to be healed up. Um, yeah. It's like let's offer him a job, you know, give him some, you know, give him a berth and everything. Give you a whole. How about this, man? You get your own cargo bay. <laughs> you know. So you return to Outpost Zed. Comrade's happy that. Uh, let's see. Uh, you deliver the three prisoners as asked and receive three thousand credits because each of them is alive. So there's an extra three thousand credits to your crew. Um, let's see. Does while the relationship between the group of former accomplices is currently uncertain, both Tamara and the rescue prisoners. Sincerely thank you, offering you any help they might need. You might need on the space station, uh, because Greb was rescued. Talmorn asked some contacts to help take care of the alien for the time being, but you guys want to take care of him, so that's not necessary. Yeah, he's he's a really cool. I want I want to eventually make him my mind. I'd circle it, but you know what I'm saying we got plenty of time for that. You're breaking up really bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Just want to get him a circlet or something one of these days, but yeah, he's cool. How much does it cost? We can probably get him one now. That's like 1200 so I'm not really worried about it right now. Alright, so on your trip back, you were able to speak with Sedona. Any questions you might have for So how you been? Yeah, Tortured. Tell us about this ship you discovered. Well, yes, I discovered the uh, Royal Venture on Nakondas. It indeed had an experimental non-drift interstellar starship engine. Um, the Aslanti have called it a rune drive. Um, must have something to do with their Aeon stones or something. Um, they're very interested in rediscovering how it works and making it operational. That's what they were interrogating me about. Um, she tells you about it. Uh, she knows that uh, Illustriel... Leah was sworn to serve uh, Zolan Ulavestra. Ula You've heard that name before, back on Nakondas. He is apparently the one that uh, has spearheaded this uh, quest for collecting the rune drive. Yeah, Baron Farquaad. Yeah, he had uh, Sedona imprisoned on Galta 
outside of official channels. Um, let's see. Sedona thinks that uh, very few people in the Star Empire, even its government, are aware of the Rune Drive or the Sardat's efforts to recover it. Everything surrounding the attack on the Condos and the Rune Drive is being kept very secret, and someone, probably Zulan Olavestra, is directing the operation from afar. Um, unfortunately, she says, he's not on Galta, uh, preferring to reside on the Star Empire's throne world of New Thespera. Uh, also, she's fairly certain the Rune Drive is not on Galta either. Uh, she has hazy memories about the where the Aslanti might have taken it. She tells you that both she and you are in a perilous position while you remain in the Aslanti prison. Oh, you already left the prison. Um, and she promises to talk more once you guys are free of Galta, which... And that's where we get into concluding. Well, geez, lady, I was just going to come freaking live on a planet, and now I'm freaking going to Aslanti space, freaking rescuing you. Well, now that the rescue is over... We have an opportunity to rest. Though I think we should not stay in one place for too long, there are no true safe havens for us as long as we remain in Aslanti space. Uh, she's visibly concerned about the Rune Drive, fearing the consequences uh, to the packed world if the Aslanti Star Empire manages to activate and mass produce the technology. Um, she says that she will not leave Aslanti space until the Rune Drive is destroyed or captured. Um, she is willing to act alone if need be. Uh, she has also informed you that she is a steward. Yeah, we kind of knew that already. Well, didn't didn't it? Yeah. There he told us that. Yeah, because they contacted you. Yeah. In in place of her, so she confirms it, and uh, she uh, hopes that you will help her uh, further discover where Zardat Zalan is keeping the artifact um, as well as helping her retrieve it or sabotage the Star Empire's effort to use it. If we help you, can we kill more Aslanti? That may be possible. They really pissed me. <laughs> they really pissed me off. I want uh, citizenship of the pack Seeking as Are you seeking asylum or something, bro? Do I seem to be on too friendly terms with my people? Well, hey, you know, I got some, I got some people. Maybe we can get you, a, you know, get you Eoxian citizenship, man. Let's see if I can pull some strings no, for you. I'm not actually a citizen of the Pack Worlds either, but yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Upon your return to Alpo Z, you are offered the use of Ashir's. A uh, private space dock once again to upgrade your starship. Uh, you can upgrade to tier five. All right, um, get one of those mystic things. Once, once more, you can choose yeah, from the Aeon Caster weapon. Yeah, the starship upgrades detailed in uh, Adventure Path Seven, Book One, um, and you can upgrade your starship. Um, don't bother doing it here. Um, I'm going back to my simple sheet because I really like it and I've upgraded the starship thing so I'm going to completely change over uh, this campaign room to the other sheet uh, so you will have to rebuild your characters um, you know what no don't bother rebuilding your characters I'll transfer them for you because it'll probably just be quicker Who's, what are you squeaking Mike? don't ask Okay, well, I did ask, but, um, all right, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably just copy this room over, um, and then I'll transfer your guys' characters onto, uh, the simple sheet. Okay. And, uh, hopefully you all will like it as much as I Yeah, I prefer this sheet. It's simpler and runs faster. I think you're going to play better. I don't think you'll be entirely disappointed. It's it's pretty straightforward, man. And I don't care enough either way, so sure. There you go. Alright, Sedona, I think we're all in. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Let's get your ship fixed up. Yeah. Alright, so our get, normal get grub fixed up. Our normal game would be next week. Um, but that's Easter. 
So April fourth or May fourth it is. May the fourth be with us. Yeah, I got prom next Saturday too. Woohoo! Easter prom. Yeah. Uh, everyone, feel free to take a look through the loot that we have. Uh, keep in mind that the tac pistol, the whatever the lady's pistol is, with metal everything else, is uh, still available. I uh, already took off all the grenades, so that is up to date. Uh, the last one, entry four twelve. And everything below it, we also have all of that. Yeah, communicate in Discord if there's anything you want, pick it up. Otherwise, you're probably going to just sell it at Zed um, for, uh, you know, 10% cost. Um, you have some contacts there, so you can probably work your way in. Uh, get that stuff sold and out, at Outpost Zed, if there's anything item level 3 or less uh, that you would like to buy, you can find it. Yeah, uh, but I can make yeah. anything with uh, item level five or less. So there you go. You just need the UPPs, which they are willing to trade straight up for. So yeah, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> if it's magic or it's freaking te technological, I can make it. So there we go. Um, I On have... the topic of May the Fourth be with us. Just remember Darth said it's laughs at the end. Yes, yes, I noticed that. Yeah, that that took me back for a minute. Wait, what? All oh, in the, the the trailer thing? The, yeah, our trailer is Darth Sidious so. laughing at the end. Yeah, it makes sense. As long I'm as we're gonna keep it open, but as long as Jar Jar's not alive. <laughs> we'll talk to you all later. Have a good night. All right. All right good night. Later. See ya.